Hello everyone, this is Anub, and in this, in this video I'll be showing you a brief introduction to Nubus. Nubus is a Chrome extensions manager. As you can see here, it will give you all the extensions you need. And assume you want to find a specific extension, like you know it's like something red React, then you can enable it or close it. And it also has a bunch of different views, so grid view or list view, whatever you want. And the other useful feature for Nubus is um, if you're clicking on apps, like extensions, you can see a detailed list about the extensions, like the rating from Chrome Web Store, whether it's useful or not, rated by new bus community. So you can click it and you're contributing to it. And the details when is it last updated. And you can see download the CRX if you really want to. And for some people, you might want to check the manifest.json. And also you can see the permissions here, which might be useful to see if they are spamming or not. The most important feature for new bus is the auto state. So yeah, that's it for manage. And the most useful feature is auto state, which means like there are extensions that might be made for specific URL address. So RES is made for Reddit. So you do the idea is um when you're visiting Reddit, you do want the RES to be enabled. But once you leave Reddit, there's no reason to keep Reddit RES like enable so you want to disable it and then the enable only feature will make this happen so like if you're not visiting reddit then res won't be enabled as soon as you get into one uh, reddit you can see res has been enabled and here you can see it's really taking effect then as soon as you leave reddit res will be disabled to saving resources and this could be very powerful and people have been asking me they want the grouping feature and actually you can do it here the idea is if you have a bunch of um, extensions you can set it to like something called start working even though it's not an url and the matching is actually re regular expression but if you're not familiar with it just type in the url so in this case if you type in start working a bunch of extension will be enabled which you set them as a group that is working group and if you type in stop working they will be disabled. So it's actually pretty useful that it's doing the grouping features and we'll talk about that later. Another feature is the history. As you can see here, you can see a very detailed history about what's going on on your like extensions. And also you can see the extension updates. So you can see two hours ago, some extension got updated from version 17 to 18. And RES also got updated 17 hours ago. And all these might be useful if you are checking, like, if you really just wondering what's the new feature or like some extension might get spammy. So you want to check which version does it really getting spammy. And the last feature is the overview. In overview here, you can check the recommendations. So how many apps extensions themes you have and auto state rules. Also, you can see the extensions that is made specifically for Google for different websites. So if you go to YouTube, it will give it will give you um, the extensions that is made specifically for YouTube, as you can see here, um, and you can see people's per people's tagging. So some of these, you can see this is really good. So you want you want to install it, you just clicking it, and there you go. And yeah, that's basically it for for Nubus. The idea is it's a very powerful tool not only for managing extensions, but basically history and auto management and recommending extensions. Also here you can set in different stuff by importing, outporting, exporting stuff. So if you really like Nubus, you can share it as here, just clicking one of these icon. And yeah, that's basically for Nubus. Thank you for watching, bye.